My name is Gabor Forgage. In the future, we'll be able to harness nature's ability to form organs and build our own. Dr. Forgatch and his lab are pioneering a radical way of building new internal organs. They're creating the organs cell by cell, literally printing copies of the original organs nature gave us. Organ printing sounds really like the ultimate science fiction. This technology is considered the future of tissue engineering. It's based on the fact that a cluster of human cells, what Dr. Forgatch calls bio-ink, behaves just like a liquid. When placed next to one another, the clumps will flow together and fuse, forming layers or other shapes. These are the bio-ink particles. Each of them is composed of about 10 to 30,000 cells. To build 3D structures like organs, Forgatch and his team use a printer to assemble the human cells into the desired shape. It's similar to how an inkjet printer produces words. Cells survive the printing process well. This is the bioprinter. Your printer can't assemble solid objects, let alone a human organ. But this one will. The printer creates a sheet of cell-friendly biopaper. Then it prints out the living cell clusters onto the paper, drop by drop. Once in place, nature takes over. The cell clusters fuse to each other, creating more complex tissue structures. We cannot control every detail of the process, but it turns out that this is not necessary because the biological material, by its fundamental nature, is able to self-organize. As each layer is completed, another layer of cell clusters is added. We build the first story, then we build the second story, and we build the third story. And that's how we get to the skyscraper. Eventually, the biopaper separating the layers dissolves, and the individual layers of cells fuse together. And that's the way we build three-dimensional structures. Since cells from any organ can be put through this printing process, Forgatch foresees using this technique to replace any damaged organ. And since the organ would be printed from your cells, there would be little chance of rejection. Imagine someone who had bypass surgery. That person is living with a heart which is not fully functional. So I can envision printing sheets of cardiac tissue we can attach to the damaged heart. Will I be able to replace my liver because I'm a heavy drinker? Will I be able to replace my lungs because I'm a heavy smoker? Well, my first advice is don't be a heavy smoker. But having said that, of course, it is quite possible this technology will be useful within one's lifetime. Why can't we imagine that at some point when you need to replace a damaged organ, you are rolled out of the operating theater with the new organ that was printed into your body? I think that what was science fiction 50 years ago is, is close to reality today.